our head and not the tail, the above and not beneath. Yeah? Yes. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And, and because of Jesus, you know, Jesus said, when he rose from the dead, he said, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations. Hey, you know, there's no 50%, 20%. There's all the nations, yeah? You know, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything they have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Somebody say, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. <laughs> Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day you're going to be fired up, be filled with the Holy Ghost, and go out and preach the gospel, because that's what you're called to do. Hallelujah. Yeah, you, we are more than the conquerors. Hallelujah. In Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah, see, you, you know the Bible says, Jesus said, Jesus said, you know, we, we go, go follow Jesus, eh? Yes. You know, yes. Jesus is the king, hallelujah. Yes. Amen. He's the king of kings and in the Lord of Lords. Hey, you know, I, I, once I start preaching, I know, but I'll give the voice that I just, just tell me this. Hey, hallelujah. Yes. You know, when, the, when, the, when, the, when, the, when, the, when you're filled with the Holy Ghost and filled with the fire of God, you know, and Jesus said, when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, you shall receive power. Somebody say power. power. Oh. And you will be my witnesses. Yeah. Here, where? Here yeah. in Green Lane, in Manuka, <laughs> hallelujah, in Queen Street, in Otala, in Papakura, hallelujah, in Samoa, in Tonga, Fiji, where I'm talking about where you're getting cut out, somebody. Hallelujah. Today is the day of salvation. You are called by God to preach His gospel. Your mouth is made for preaching the gospel. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. There's no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And every tongue that raised against us in judgment, we do condemn. Hallelujah. Yes. yes. I know who I am. Hallelujah. To, you know you are God's chosen people. Hallelujah. Yeah. The royal priest you. Hello. His own special people. You are called to declare the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Yes, that's who you are. Hallelujah. And as you can God. see, the devil is going, oh, I'm giving too, but I'm trembling. Hallelujah. Somebody's in trouble tonight. And who's that? The devil. Hallelujah. Because Jesus said, yes, Jesus said, go and preach the gospel to every creature. Yeah. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. Who does not believe will be condemned. And these signs of all those who believe in my name, you will cast out those demons. Hallelujah. Hey, come on. Take up their name, the name of our Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Every demon will bow down in Jesus. Hallelujah. And in here, yeah, in my name, you will cast out demons. You will speak with new tongues. You will take up servants. If you drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt you. You will lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's who you are. If you don't know, you now know. Believe with your heart. Confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. And that God raised him the next. Amen. And we will be saved. Amen. Hallelujah. That's who you are. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Can you see the fact? We've got to be fired for Jesus. Yes. There's too many men that are chicken. Hey, uh, that's why there's so many ladies here. But the men are not standing up. Yeah. Ah, hallelujah. Come on, be a man. Stand up for Jesus. Preach the gospel. Hallelujah. Yeah, that's who you are. That's right. You know, so we have a group of beds. So that's enough for me. Hallelujah. <laughs> so boys, you know, it's just a, an encouragement. You know, for you... You know, we go out to the malls. We are the shame of the gospel. We go out on the Green Street. And sometimes I go by myself because, yeah, you know, Philip went out by himself, by himself. Hey, yeah, read about it in the, in the Bible. He was now cast out demons, healed the sick. Because, you know, because God is with me. The Holy Ghost is with me. Jesus is with me. Hallelujah. And I don't have cast out demons on the street. By myself, hallelujah. Because there's a difference between deliverance in the church and in outside the, of the field. Hey. Hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah, that's who I am. Shut up, Roko Sila. And tonight you're going to be filled with the Holy Ghost if you haven't been filled with the Holy Spirit. You're going to be filled with the Spirit and Tongue. Hey. Yeah, hallelujah. And you shall see vision. The Bible said that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. In Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The world may fall, you know, the world may falling about. Hey, come on, sorry. Um, <laughs> hallelujah. Okay, so I'll give the bush. Oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry about it. <laughs> You know, I just want to encourage you to like, you know, when I first came to New Zealand, I'm from Tonga, I don't know how to speak English, I don't know how to read, I don't know how to write. And uh, I came here in 1974, and uh, 1985, I was workaholic, 1985, I was workaholic. And I went to my wife, me and my wife had a problem because of my thinking. And, uh, she gave her life to the Lord and she she went to church with the people who called her and she told her, tell her to, when I sleep, come and pray for me when I sleep. And she does. And uh, one Sunday morning she asked me to come to church with her and I didn't want to go but she keep forcing me to go. So I went with her and uh, I didn't know this that day that Lord, uh, I gave my life to the Lord. Mm -hmm. At the time, I was for all the people in the church. We went and prayed for people in the hospital, go to people's home and share the word of God with them. I just follow them. I don't know how to share the word. But in my heart, I'm really hungry to share the word of God but because I can speak English properly and, and uh, don't know how to pray and share the word. And one Sunday afternoon, and we're supposed to go to the hospital and pray for people, but they ring me up in the afternoon and say, you just have a rest of the day. Today I was not really happy because I really want to go. Just to just listen to them share away. And that Sunday I said to the Lord, I don't know how to share. But I come by myself. You know, I took a step on that Sunday. I went to the hospital by myself. Pray for people and share away with them. I don't know how it came out of my mouth, but I said, Lord, just speak for me to be for me. And I take a step and I went. Then I see so many people come to the Lord. And my income is to you tonight. Might be if you're talented in your life or not. Or might be scared to share the word of God with people. I just you ask, income is to you. Just take a step. When you want word or do word, you can share to people. God will speak for you. The Holy Spirit will lead you to speak. But just take a step forward and go. Just like we are from that time till today. We go to each friend country. We share the word of God and preach the word of God. And now we keep going to the Queen Street and share the word from Queen Street. Last Thursday, me and my brother, we went. This young man just one cross from the road, come to him and grabbed the microphone and went to find him and tell him why. Praise God. Why God didn't speak to me? He said, I'm a Christian for 22 years. Not, nothing happened to my life. Now she went back and he tried to pull the mic in front of him. And I said, come here. And pull it off. He came and she came to me and he keep crying to take, take over talk to want him to speak. And I just said to him, in the name of Jesus, be quiet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From that moment, he just sit down and be quiet. And I share the word of God with him, lead him to the Lord, pray for him. Then, ah, yeah. you know, you come with me, take a step forward, and God will work through you.